Hello everyone, myself Muthu Subeta. Today I am going to present about Indian ethos and about Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Indian ethos is a set of value and ethics that guided by peoples in India and are derived from the country's cultures, epics and Indian ethos is based on principles like the diversity of human beings and the importance of being a character over knowledge and seeing all work as worships. Indian ethos in management refers to the practices and values that contribute that can contribute to leadership, service, management, etc. In Indian ethos, management refers to the values and practice the cultures of Hindi. Cultures that contribute to service, leadership and management. These values and practices are rooted in Sanadana, Sanadana Dharma, the external ex- essence, and have been influenced by various strands of Indian philosophy. So, to express it in more detail way, I choose Dr. Rajendra Prasad to connect with Indian ethos. Rajendra Prasad was born on December 3, 1884 in Bihar. He was belonged to a modest family and he is excelled in academics and pursued higher education in University of Calcutta where he learned a bachelor degree in science and followed by a law degree from University of London. Dr. Prasad returned to India and, and began his legal practice in Bihar. His political career started in 1910 when he was attracted by Gandhi's philosophy of non-violence resistance. He became actively involved in Indian National Congress and was elected as its president multiple times. Role in the freedom movement and uh, he participated in that. Mr. Uh, Dr. Rajendra Prasad was a key figure in the se- several British, uh, Br- British movements against British rules. He participated in non-cooperation movements, the Salt March and the Quit India movement. He was imprisoned several times for, the act- for his activism and de- demonstrating his unwavering, unwavering commitment to Indian independence. Post-independence leadership following India's independence in 1947, Rajendra Prasad was elected as the first president of India. He presided over the drafting of Indian constitution and emphasized the importance of unity in a diverse nation. Dr. Rajendra Prasad focused on various social reforms including in Agrican reform aimed, aimed at improving the lives of farmers. Yes, he was a strong advocate for education and worked to pursue literacy and women's rights. His approach was characterized by humanity and commitment to democratic values. Rajendra Prasad is famous as a leader of integrity and vision. One of the famous quotes that said by Rajendra Prasad is is the future belongs to the peoples who believe in their beauty of their dreams. The quote the quote relates to management in several ways like vision and goal vision and goals. Effective management involves a setting a clear vision and inspire, inspiring teams to pursue collective goals, much like believing in dreams. Motivation. It highlights the importance of motivating individuals within an organization, forecasting a culture where people are encouraged to dream and innovative and especially in strategic planning. It emphasizes the need for strategic foresight, aligns efforts and resources towards achieving a shared vision which is cultural, which is crucial in management. In the future, it can be applied in the, in the management as forecasting innovation and like encouraging teams into think their, to think creativity and pursue bold ideas while drive innovation and adaptability in a rapidly changing business environment and in strategic decision making. Organization can align their strategies with long term vision ensuring that every decision supports that overarching goals and dreams of the company. By integrating this pers- perspective into a management practice organization can create a motivated workforce this is committed to achieving shared dreams as goals. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to express my thoughts about Indian ethics and, uh, and about Rajendra Prasad.